December? No, January. Just kidding. <laughs> here with my January wrap up for 2018. I read a total of six books which is not a lot for me. Usually I read way more but school man, school that's all I'm gonna say. So without further ado let us get started. <sighs> The first book that I read was The Battle Mage by Taran Mathuru and I ended up giving this three out of five stars. I read the first two books in this trilogy so long ago, like I think 2016. I have a full review of both of those up if you want to check it out, but I think I would have enjoyed this a lot more if I had read it immediately after I read the other two books. Most of the time I couldn't remember who any of the characters were or like what relationship they had to everybody else. That kind of made my rating go down a bit because I was confused half the time with who was who. I don't want to give a full synopsis since it is the third book in the series but basically it follows a boy named Fletcher who is a demon summoner and he goes on this adventure. That's all I'm gonna say. I still think Ignatus who is Fletcher's demon is the cutest little dragon in the entire world. I also really liked a and Silva's relationship with Fletcher. Overall it was pretty slow at the beginning but once it gets to the last like 50 pages it picks up a lot but like it's only the last 50 pages that was exciting to me so the next book that I picked up was Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. The book follows Andy who blames herself for her younger brother's death over two years ago. Her mother's grieving his death and she is being threatened with being expelled from school due to her poor grades. That's when her absent father swoops in and admits her mom into a mental hospital and demands that Andy come with him to Paris in order to work on her thesis. So when in Paris, Andy discovers an old diary that's hidden in the compartment of a guitar case. She begins reading it and she discovers that it belonged to a woman named Alex who was alive during the 18th century French Revolution. First off, like if you're gonna read this book, it is full of suicide mention and pill popping and just if that's not your thing, don't pick it up because it's basically more than half the book. The book definitely drags on, it's very slow. Although the stuff about the French Revolution was really interesting, it got to the point where it just became information overload and I was pretty overwhelmed with everything that I was trying to keep track of. My favorite part of the was definitely Virgil who is the love interest. He was just such a precious little cinnamon roll and I just wanted to protect him at all costs. Andy got on my nerves after a while because she was just so rude and like I understand that she's grieving for her brother but it got to the point where she was just being rude for the sake of being rude and it was just like girl you need to stop. Overall the book was pretty entertaining and I definitely recommend it for somebody who's interested in historical fiction. The next book I have is Playground by 50 Cent and yes like literally the rapper 50 Cent which I think is hilarious because I didn't even know that he wrote a book but it was actually pretty good. I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5. The book follows 13 year old Butterball who decides that he is going to beat up one of his closest friends on the playground one day. His name is Maurice and he ends up in the hospital. He is being forced to talk to a therapist named Liz and he doesn't really trust her. He doesn't want to go see her. He doesn't want to tell her her story but as the sessions progress he begins to trust her and lets her know what exactly happened that day on the playground. I was not expecting a lot from this book because like 50 Cent wrote it so I was like it's not gonna be that good but I was pleasantly surprised. I think that it gives a really good insight on how bullies can be very vulnerable and actually be bullied themselves. I think that the book is definitely relatable for a lot of people. I probably would recommend this to like middle graders because it gives a good life lesson and also like Butterball is such a good character. He goes through so much character development and just becomes like a better person in the end and I definitely really liked reading about him. The next book that I picked up was Across the Universe by Beth Revis and I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Hundreds of individuals have been frozen on the spaceship Godspeed for over 300 years. Then was to wake up years later in order to regrow the population and start a new life on a new planet. 17 year old Amy ends up being woken up 50 years earlier than planned and she must work with Elder in order to stop a potential murderer from 
killing off all of the Frozens and her parents. I originally bought this book because I thought it sounded really similar to Passenger, the movie with Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Hemsworth. I think it's Chris Hemsworth. But I, I really enjoyed that movie so I was like, oh, it's, it sounds like it, so it's probably good. And I actually liked it a lot more than I thought it would. I really liked the characters of Amy and Elder. Amy was very stubborn and I liked how she protected her parents at all costs. I also really liked how Elder questioned pretty much everything that the eldest elder was telling him about life on Godspeed. It was really nice watching him grow throughout the story. I have to say that Harley was definitely my favorite character. He was just so lovable and he honestly just reminded me of a big giant puppy dog. I also really liked how the romance of the story wasn't a huge aspect. Like I thought it was going to be a big deal based off of the summary but it was more of a back burner kind of thing which I definitely enjoyed. I ended up giving it only a 3.5 because I was able to call the murderer very very early in the story but it was obvious that it was supposed to be this huge thing that you couldn't tell but like it was so obvious who it was and I don't know if that's just because I'm pretty good at calling the endings to things but it just no. I did find the history and the mystery surrounding the ship to be very interesting and I did want to know more about that. Another reason I gave the book a lower rating than I originally was going to was because of the word frexing. I think it was supposed to be a replacement for fuck, but it just got to the point where I was like, okay, it's obvious that you're using this as a replacement to swearing, just use the swear word. Like, it just got annoying to me. Honestly, it's probably just a personal preference, so don't go into the story thinking that, like, it's a huge deal. I think it's just a me thing, but it got super annoying. Overall, I would recommend it to sci-fi lovers because it was a super entertaining story, so I liked it, and also it has a pretty cover. The next book that I read is one of my favorite favorite books now and it is Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker. I have a full review of it on my channel so I'm not going to go into detail about it. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 star. It is so good. It is such a thrilling story and like highly recommend it. Check out my review but like read the book please because like A plus. That's all I'm going to say. And then the final book that I read for the month of January is The Dangerous Art of Blending In by Angelo Samarellis and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It follows a boy named Evan who is the son of a very strict immigrant parents. His father would rather stay quiet in the conflict between his mother and Evan. So Evan is feeling very lonely and the only place where he finds solitude is this old abandoned monastery near his house. So during one summer Evan gets sent away to Bible camp and upon returning he realizes that his best friend Henry has become increasingly attractive and he's also showing signs that he wants to be more than friends. Just a warning, this book has a lot of all kinds of abuse in it, like all kinds. It also deals a lot with homophobia so just be aware of that going into the book but I wanted to like this a lot more than I did. Knowing that the book was loosely based off of the author's life made it like a hundred percent more heartbreaking. It was honestly really hard to read about Evan's mother physically, mentally, emotionally, and verbally abusing him and nobody was there to help him at all. Evan was a very sweet character and I wanted to help him but I just wasn't able to connect with him as much as I wanted to. I think that the book was so heavily focused on the abuse aspect that it was very hard to get to know Evan as a person. The only major problem I had with the book was that it seemed to portray the romance aspect as a way to cure abuse which I personally don't agree with but as it is an own voices novel I didn't really try to let that affect my overall opinion but yeah overall I think that it was an okay read but personally I could not connect to the main character and it just made it very hard to want to continue with the story and I also just found it very hard to read about all the abuse so if you're gonna pick it up then definitely take that into consideration because it's it's a very emotional read. Alright guys, so that was my January wrap up. Let me know down below what you guys read this month and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!